Hey, Mr. Anderson back. Um, we're going to work on something today really similar to what we did yesterday. Again, I'm going to do the odds. I'm going to give you, uh, excuse me, yeah, I'm going to do the odds. I'm going to give you the evens. And uh, and then we're going to um, make you uh, make you come up with 60% uh, or better. So three out of the five got to get right in order to uh, have me uh, have me count this assignment as complete. It'll be missing until you get at least three out of these five even numbered problems correct. And of course, if you take good notes, it'll all be uh, it'll all be in the chat, and uh, and you won't have any trouble at all. So let's uh, let's get started, shall we? Just like we did yesterday, combine the like terms. So in number one, we've got negative 6k and a positive 5k. That makes negative 1k is equal to negative 8. Or the opposite of k is negative 8, which means that k has to be 8. So let's try that. Negative 6 times 8 is negative 48. 5 times 8 is 40. Negative 48 and 40 is negative 8. It checks. That's all you got to do. So add 7k, uh, 7x and 6x, divide 0 by the coefficient, and find the value of x. Do number 2 in the red puzzle. Okay, let's try number 3. Now, our negative 4.8p and our positive 0.4p are on the right side of the equal sign. It doesn't matter. We still combine them. Negative 4.8 and a positive 4 is negative 4.4p. Negative 4.4p is equal to 16.28. To solve that now, I have to divide by negative 4.4. That's the coefficient of p. Divide by negative 4.4. Grab your calculator. That's what we're supposed to do. Um, that's an easy way to use our do our calculations. All right. So we're going to take our 16.8, divide that by our negative 4.4, and we get scientific notation. I don't want scientific notation. I want standard form. So 16, oh, I did that wrong. It was 16.28. Let's clear it. 16.28 divided by 4.4. And that was supposed to be negative, right? So it's going to be negative 3.7. Wow, that was a lot harder than I thought. So for number four, the one you're going to do, take negative 4x. Combine it with your 3.6x, you're going to get less than 1x, well, in between 0 and negative 1x, right? And you're going to divide 1.6 by that. Make sure you get the right signs when you put it in your answer. All right, welcome back. Number five, again, combine the decimals. This time, they're constant terms. 4.9 and 9 tenths is going to be 5 and 8 tenths, plus A is negative 11.3. Subtract to undo the adding. 5.8 minus 5.8 is 0, plus A is A. Subtract 5 and 8 tenths from this side. Notice they're both negatives. So I I'm going to get negative 17.1. You can do that on your calculator too, right? So we've had negative 11 and 3 tenths. From that, we subtracted 5 and 8 tenths, and we had negative 17.1. Add that to the 4.9 and the 0.9, and you'll get negative 11.3. It does, in fact, check. So when you do number six, you're going to combine the like terms and subtract that from the 20.6 to find out what x equals. With the fractions, again, combine your like terms. Take your coefficients. 
negative, check that, negative 2 and 3 fourths minus 5 is negative 7 and 2 thirds. Oh, I was punching the wrong numbers again. Holy cow. Let's clear this. Negative 2 and 3 fourths. Wow. Minus 5. Probably do that in your head better than what I just did. And you get negative 7 and 3 fourths. X. That's going to be equal to 10 and 1 third. That's your combining like terms. This is being multiplied. So I have to divide by negative 7 and 3 fourths. Divide 10 and 1 third by negative 7 and 3 fourths. 10 and 1 third divided by negative 7 and 3 quarters. Got it punched in right? And I get my x equals negative 1 and 1 third. Negative 1 and 1 third. So for number 8, you're going to combine 3 and a half with the minus 5 sevenths. Whatever your coefficient of k is, is what you'll divide the negative 4 and 5 28 by to find the value of k. Number 9, negative 11 fifths plus 3. You notice it's a negative 11 fifths and a plus one third. You can use your calculator. Whatever helps. Negative 11 fifths plus one third equals. So this is going to be x minus 1 and 13 fifteenths. That's what equals negative 11 thirtieths. So now if I add 1 and 13 fifteenths, I get x. I got to keep it equal, maintain the equality by adding the same thing to both sides. And I've got my negative 11 thirtieths plus 1 and 3, check that, 1 and 13 fifteenths. And that equals 1 and a half. So again, minus 6 sevenths added to plus 3 fourths. What you get will be negative, so you'll have to add that to both sides to find the value of k. Good luck.